Will? Will? Rose Sharon, Grandpa's passed on. Oh, Will. Now, like a good girl, you go lay down with Grandma. She needs somebody now. She's knowing now. Yes, Ma. Will. We got to figure what to do. These laws you got to report a death, and when you do that, they either take forty dollars for the undertaker, or they take him for a pauper. We never did have no paupers. Maybe we got to learn. We never got booted off no land before neither. What you doing, Ma? Fixing Grandpa to be put in the ground. Never you mind. Grandpa buried his paw with his own hand. Done it in dignity and shaped the grave nice with his own shovel. That was a time when a man had the right to be buried by his own son, and a son had the right to bury his own father. Law says different now. The law sometimes can't be followed. No way. Not in decency, anyways. There's lots of times you can't. Sometimes a fella got to sift the law. I'm saying now I got the right to bury my own paw. Anybody got something to say? Holbrook, Joseph City, Winslow. They drove all night and came to the mountains in the night. They passed the summit in the dark and came slowly down in the late night. And when the daylight came, they saw the Colorado River below them. The Jodes drove to the river and sat looking at the lovely water flowing by and the green reeds jerking slowly in the current. Mind if we stop here a piece? We don't own it, mister. Stop if you want. There'll be a cop down to look you over. We got the desert. We got to get water and rest. <laughs> now, Ruthie, Winfield, you come back. No, I don't come want to. Come on, you kids. You want to stay and swim. Don't you give me no sass. All right. Ma? M- Ma? When we get there, y'all gonna pick fruit and kind of live in the country, ain't ya? We ain't there yet. We don't know what it's like. We gotta see. Me and Connie don't want to live in the country no more. We got it all planned up, what we gonna do. Ain't you gonna stay with us, with the family? Well, we talked about it, me and Connie. Ma, we want to live in town. Connie gonna get a job in a store or maybe a factory, and he's gonna study at home, maybe radios, so we can get to be an expert and maybe later have his own store, and we'll go to pictures whenever, and Connie says I'm gonna have a doctor when the baby's born, and he says we'll see how times is, and maybe I'll go to a hospital, and we'll have a car, little car, and when he gets done studying at night, why, it'll be nice. And he tore a page out of Western love stories and he's going to send off for a course because it don't cost nothing to send off, says right on that clip, and I've seen it. And we live in town and go to pictures whenever, and, well, I'm going to have electric iron. And, well, I thought maybe we could all go in town and when Connie gets a store, maybe Al could work for him. What? We don't want you to go away from us. It ain't good for folks to break up. Me? Work for Connie? Shh. How about Connie comes to working for me? He thinks he's the only son of a bitch can study at night? Put it right there! Hey! Hey! Ma. Tom, what's the matter? Shh, shh, shh. No, no, don't, don't talk loud. I got in a fight. Tom. I couldn't help it, Ma. You in trouble? Yeah, I'm in trouble. I, I can't go out to work. I gotta hide. Is it bad? My nose is busted. I mean the trouble. Yeah, bad. I went out to see what all the yelling was about. Now, come on, Casey. The preacher? Yeah, the preacher. Only he was a leading the strike, Ma. They come for him. Who come for him? I don't know. Had pick handles. They killed him, Ma. They busted his head open. I was standing there, and I went nuts, and I grabbed the pick handle, and I clubbed the guy. Kill him? I don't know. I was nuts. I tried to... Was you saw? Uh, I guess so. They, they had lights on us. Oh, Tom, you you got to go away. I know, Ma. Oh, you're going to have a bad scar, Tom. And your nose is all crooked. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Nobody won't know me, maybe. If my prince wasn't on record, I'd be glad. Tommy. Tommy, I, I want you should go a long ways off. Mm-hmm. Oh, looky, Ma. I've been all night hiding alone. I've been thinking about Casey. He talked a lot, used to bother me. But now I've been thinking what he said, and I can remember all of it. 
He was a good man. Oh, hush. Listen. Only the 